Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21. It's Stage Racer. We're on episode number five. Final 26 kilometers of the race that we are in right now. Uh, it's stage two, and it's the uh, Circuit Ardennes. And for this one, okay, uh, first stage, no objective. No clear objective. I was free element with no actual specific requirements. I tried to get in the break because there was a lot of minor climbs and I, I wanted to get a piece of those KOM points, try to go for something. Could not get in the break, could not get in. I, I started near the back of the peloton and by the time I got to the front, there was already three riders away and the stage was theirs. And there was nothing I could do on that. For stage two, uh, but uh, well, what I did do was I managed to take fourth, 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 fourth at each climb, pick up some points. And then as we started to claw back the the breakaway, I was able to get third on the last climb. It was still a ways before the finish, but one of the riders at least. So I was setting in fourth, decent amount of points. Today, one of those three was in the breakaway again. So he now has a pretty substantial lead. Today's objective is different. Today, finish in the top 15. And so I've, I've got to focus on the overall part. They actually wanted me in the breakaway a little bit as well. The late breakaway, the puncher break. They want a top 15 for the stage. I've got excellent race day condition as I'm on a fitness peak and objective. So I have that plus three set uh, base and ended up drawing a plus five. Yesterday I had the same, but I ended up on a plus two. So it's making up for that. But with 15 kilometers to go, I've got that partial leader line. role split with somebody else, and I've got the weakest the guys the at the wake. moment that are supporting me, so I don't actually have support as we're getting closer to the end. 73 riders left. I have committed to going for those KOMs in the same way that I did before, Cat 2s, Cat 1s anyway, going best to the rest. I'm going to go for this one as well, and this is actually my time if I'm going to get away this is where it's got to be. 49 riders. Minor break. Let's Anyone's see if I can open up it's some sort of... I'm not. I'm not opening a gap. I have opened a gap. It's at least going to get me the KOM. Only 10 points, left. that is. We'll see if we can actually hang on to some sort of... Got a 16 second gap. That's now 62. So I'm third in the KOM. Toodle was in the breakaway today. Lots of points out there. 17 second advantage and this is the last hill eight kilometers to go i don't think i'm gonna hang on probably done a bit too much too early it's gonna be hard to hang on from here 40 riders in the peloton Let's see there they've caught me they've caught me okay that's it 36 riders i could still maybe get that top 15 maybe left. Quinn's there, but he's apparently the other leader. He is. He's the other leader. So with 4K to go, uh, it's going to be hard to get a top 15 now, but we'll see what we can do. Just kind of inch our way forward, stay near the front. Have good acceleration, just not a sprint. 2K. Oh, the crow just smacked me out of the way. Oh, come on, game. Eight hundred meters. Eight hundred meters. Okay, now another. Two riders have gotten off the front. Cockard and Quintana. Wow. I think I'm looking at a top fifteen right now, though. Out of energy, right before the line. Fourteenth. Got it. Okay. So, we get fourteenth and a bunch of KOM points along the way. So I finish my objective on the day and release the positional one and get a bunch of KOM points. I'm in good shape, third place, just off of second. I could maybe squeeze my way. Two more stages to go, let's see what happens. All right, so it's early stage three. I again have the objective to finish in the top 15, but we have a cat two, a cat one, and a cat two early in this stage. So I'm trying really hard to keep ahead of the field and pick up some points. And so far, I, I just managed to get max points over that category two climb. I'll, I'll recover later. 
But with one and a half K to go, I'm going to again push and not allow any sort of breakaway here. I'm going to try to take max points on this category one. That's the big points today, which is going to really improve my position overall in the King of the Mountains competition. And then if I can, I'll recover a little bit and go again for the other cat two and then just focus on the stage from there on out. You can see I'm able to hold over the top and all the guys in the KOM were going for it. I'm now within two points. These guys are all, th all three of the others in the top four were trying to get in the breakaway. At the moment, I have a peloton of just 17 riders. Of course, they're about to sit up and I need to try to recover. So let's let that heart rate come down. No breakaway can get away. Now back to 94. It's 5k to go to the top. Cannot let a breakaway get away from here. I've got enough energy at this point and recovering that I can still challenge for this upcoming climb. That's yeah, it's really okay if Moss goes. 2k. Barbosa finally gets here, but it's already onto the climb. So let's just push and see if I bring him back. If I take second, I take second. 1k to go. Close him down. 600 meters. There we go. Over the top. Points are mine. Into the KOM lead. Plus five again today. Miracles do happen. But so do fitness peaks. Fitness peaks and objectives. They also happen. Speaking of miracles, it's a miracle I'm still breathing. Or no, not a miracle, but it's hot. Uh, there's a reason why the lighting's not good right now, and that's because there's no way I'm putting that hot lamp on my face right now uh, from the Pacific Northwest, live in Washington, and it is 113 degrees, or at least as of two hours ago, it was 113 degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh, 45 degrees Celsius. We have smashed local records. It's also humid. I have air conditioning. It's nice, but... There's 12 kids in a daycare and three adults, and we had to cook lunch, and that uh, has overworked the air conditioning unit, and it's just slowly gotten into the mid-80s inside. <laughs> it's hot in here, so, uh, and with little kids, we can't afford to let it get too hot, so just suffer through, but not do anything to increase the heat drastically. All right, we have a single rider away. I'm not worried about this Cat 3 climb, as I still have not fully recovered. So I'm going to let this one go, I think. Oh, there he goes. Can I get just gently second the over the top, step. please? There you go. Okay, second. Keep the lead. Now six points with one stage right left to go. The now we'll focus to to on the stage. 10k to go. To uh, he's out to a minute 25. Come on, you guys. Come on, Arkea. There's Barbosa. There's Garrison. Gotta pull this back, guys. It's 6k to go, actually, so... Uh, we're going to just line up behind Garrison now. There's Quinn, but I'm not in control of him. Chitello's a little too far back. Barbosa's done, so Garrison. Now we see movement. Just bear. 4k to go. It's a little bit of a punchy finish. That's good for me. And we want Garrison to kind of set that up as best we can. Okay, here's the downhill. This is where he needs to just push, lead it out, and then as soon as his red bar's gone, we will look to attack. 1.5k. Garrison, nice lead out. Okay, on my way. 700 meters. The pack's deficit is being cut back. Top 15 for sure. Not good that Maisiuk has taken the stage. Cockard takes second. Pache, oh, fourth. That's a great finish, though. Fourth place. Excellent. And let's see, what did I have left? Oh, five meters. 
So if I won't, if I go five mini meters sooner, maybe we get that podium ahead of Pache. But otherwise, that was that was good. This stage was a real strength zapper. Dang, that was my first top ten and first top five. That was our best finish yet. Pick up an extra 35 points for that, plus the fourth on the stage. No breakaway, though, but leading the KOM, put those two things together. That was 10 points last stage, so 15 for the KOM lead. That's another 25 points. That's a huge boost. Now just 17 away, just like that. A couple minor efforts that the team didn't even lay out for me, but you throw that together, and it has made for a very very good day in the saddle and now quite close to the next level already stage four final stage same objective they want me in the top 15 because it's a punchy stage but looking at the profile it's a sprint stage it's going to be really hard to get that top 15 today unless we have just a small group left at the finish so my main objective is to hang on to the KOM there's plenty of points available today for other riders to potentially take the jersey away from me. So I need to keep these guys close. And at a minute 52, they've been working very hard to open that gap. The they're, they're riding quite hard, so they're not gonna have much left. So I'm gonna take my three guys that I have control over, and I'm gonna try to pull them back. I don't have to get this category one per se. Uh, they like the might be able to get this one, and I'll just take fourth through here. And actually, you know, okay let's... Let's slow this down all of a sudden uh, to here, and then I need to go to the front. 2k to go to the top. I need to get at least 5th over the top There's here so I get some points, point. but then continue chasing on through the, through the next climbs. If I can get those guys brought back to the field, or get close enough where, like, say the next Category 1, I can get in there and get those points get them pulled back there you go so the lead now is 12 points toodles the one to watch out for he is 18 points back that's not much that is definitely not safe so we've got to continue this chase three guys bringing it back six four two nothing i can do on that one but we'll get that's losing about 10 points Losing 10 points, that's not, that's too gas. much. So we definitely need to get these guys brought back at least before the final Category 1, if not sooner. Gap at 225. Nobody else is chasing like we are. It looks like, there you go, B&B &B finally ready to commit one rider to the chase. k to go to the top we're gonna set ourselves up for another go at this we need max points here 2k to go back off a little bit again and then i will come forward we'll see where our lead is that's good if kuhn is attacking no it's tootle now that's not good if tootle's taking max points it's a good time to take some food do a little clawing it back ourselves here. Down to a two point lead. Two point lead now. Let's get uh, Chitello. Recover for a little bit. The pack is increasing its work rate. Protect. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. Now let's get you guys working harder, bringing it back. We got to bring it back. It's okay if they get through the cat three. It's okay if I lose it there. As long as that breakaway is done by the time we hit the cat one, it shouldn't be that hard for me to go over the top first, especially ahead of Tootle at that point. My Siuk shouldn't be a threat at this point in time. Richatello has recovered a bit. Gaps down to 150. The pack's deficit is being cut back. A couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group. Oh, up the there pace now. is too hot for certain riders. 
Garrison, the one doing the work currently. Barbosa just finished. Let's get him back. Nope, this is the cat three. Nothing I could do on this one. I didn't see the points. It was a while ago. Peloton's down to 43 riders. We've split it off that, that hard. 5k to go to the top. Minute 45. Here's what we're going to do. Which told us the freshest. Barbosa's back here with me. Garrison's at the front. Okay. Big effort. Big effort. We've got to pull this back. We're into the last third of the race. We'll soon know the final outcome. There we go. Okay. Using my red bar too, but Barbosa, two K to go. There they are. Richitello. One point nine. Doesn't have to go quite as hard. We've pulled him back. Have surrendered. The there you go, 1k to go, and I've gone over the top. No sprint capable, but 99, can I hold them off? I do. I do, there you go, KOM 1. Big victory there, big victory for us. Okay, uh, Richitello still alive, no need to split things up again. We're good to go to ride for the finish and try try to get the uh, 15th place. 30k left. We'll speed things up. Somebody's come a cropper in the pack. Thank goodness everyone else escaped unhurt. Oops. The riders have upped the pace. Ah, oh, I could have gotten a top three there. Would have been worth a couple seconds. I sit in tenth place, by the way. I tried to click the wrong thing. It's Richitello that I clicked on, not myself. Alright, Garrison, Barbosa, Richitello still with me, left. so I'll be able to get their support as a lead out group for the final, but I don't know how much I could do on a zero race day condition with a 56 sprint. The top 15? Generally possible. 10k? Alright, Rich Tello's right there. Come on, where are you guys at? Where'd you fall back to? Figures, I control them for so long and then they totally fall out of place on where they need to be. In which case, I only have one lead out rider right now. We're seeing an attack. And he is. It's all teammates. B and B. There you go. Arkea responding. No, attacking. He's off on his own. The team sponsor won't be disappointed. Richitello. Make the response. 24 seconds to the B and B guy. Smart from them. They had five riders right at, right at the front. They were the only ones working. Why not send one of them up the road and let the others just sit up? Throw a wrench in uh, the plans. Alright, let's check. See how close these guys are. Totally out of contention. So they are not around. This is it. we got Richitello to keep everybody else in check. That's all we've got. Over the top there, 6k to go. Five kilometers remaining. Lacroix. The pace seems much too high Looks for like he's riders. fading. 4.6k to go. That's the last little hill. Okay, have him just go 99. Little separation, 36 riders. 2k to go. Okay, final kilometer. 
Lacroix, I don't know how he's hanging on. How did he hang on? His shoulders were sagging so bad. Just can't out sprint Penho. Otherwise, that would have been a podium. He's just too fast. Penho, way too quick for us. His his sprint is 15 points better than ours. Nearly beat him, though. I mean, we, we tied that one very well. It's a good finish. Fourth place. Back-to-back -back stages. Really good result. Really good for the overall. That should keep us in the top 10. I, I have no idea how Lacroix held on through that. I mean, that was a flat-out chase. And yet he somehow went flat out for, what, 12k? Like 99 for 12k and didn't run out of energy? Yikes. But I didn't come for the overall. I was just hoping to get 15, top 15. We did that. We got 10th overall. So that's excellent. We got inside the top 10. We get 9th in the points classification. But most importantly of all, we win the K KOM, King of the Mountain, is ours. We get fourth in the under 25s as a team. 57 points. There you go, just like that. One four-stage race, and we pick up a whole half of a level plus 40 points by winning primarily by winning the K uh, King of the Mountains jersey. Up to 100% satisfaction and another level. Really, really happy by that. Level 5, skill point, improvement of attributes, Next level will do the same, plus unlock higher level races. Stage races, we can get a plus two, plus one, plus two. I like that. That's a good combination. Acceleration is there as well. Resistance and recovery both coming up, though nothing for stamina. Yeah, easy choice. Easy choice this time. So stage races... One of these days, definitely think about the time trial because we're not picking up any prologue points here, but I'm not so worried about prologue. All right, you can lose small amounts of time there. Strong climbers, huge difference. Going to a 76 is going to put us into a whole nother category of climber. It's going to make us a lot more competitive. Resistance, 64, still not great, but it is getting manageable where we can do a lot more with that. Stamina really needs to come up, though. Hopefully next level we'll get something in that department. Uh, acceleration hitting 70 is starting to get more and more effective, though the sprint, very, very weak. But resistance recovery coming up, very good things. Time trial going plus two, hills plus one, mountain plus two, pretty massive at this point in our career. All right, so we've quickly picked out that training or going for objectives is the only time you can go above 90% on preparation. Anytime you're above 90%, Fitness buildup or fatigue buildup is massive. It builds up really fast. So if you do back-to-back -back objectives, by the end of that, you're suddenly at 40% fatigue. We do this, we reduce that a bit, and it's going to make things a lot more manageable. So training is really important this year in pro cyclist mode uh, to, to really get you set up in a point where you can get plus twos, plus threes pretty regularly by managing your fitness reg uh, properly. A training's a way to really boost that up. I know ultimately this was a pretty quick episode today. However, uh, with the heat and everything, I actually need to try to shut my computer down for a while to not overheat. Not it, but the house. This beast puts out a lot of heat. I'm Kathleen Gabriel. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.